Hi! Today we'll walk you through the list of feature updates and other minor improvements that have become available with the release of VSDC 7.1. Without further ado, let's get started. The first one is an upgraded cutting and splitting window. It now features a storyboard as well as a simplified version of an audio waveform, both designed to help you cut and split your footage more precisely. Notice that if you open a video file that has already been edited, say you split it or cut out a part of it, the splitting and cutting window will highlight these areas in red. And keep in mind that you won't be able to modify them in order to keep the previous changes intact. The following improvement makes subtitle management more convenient. First, when you add a file with subtitles to VSDC, the program will detect the duration of the file and will display it on the timeline accordingly. Second, when you open the subtitle file properties, you'll notice the new option called Add Markers. It allows you to automatically mark all the moments on the timeline when each new subtitle piece of text begins displaying. The third update we'd like to feature is the new timeline scrolling modes. Here is how they work and why we decided to implement them. When you increase the timeline scale and press the preview button, the timeline automatically starts following the playhead, as if you are turning pages, so to speak. This approach or method is called page scrolling, and it's a default timeline scrolling mode in VSDC. In addition, there is a smooth page scrolling mode available, however, they both might be inconvenient in some scenarios. And that's why we created three new modes. Scroll from the Timeline Center mode. It uses the same page-by-page -page scrolling method, but the playhead starts moving from the middle of the page, which is more convenient if you need to go back a little during the preview. Fixed Smooth Scrolling mode. This mode uses the smooth scrolling method as a basis, but the playhead stays at the position you set manually. And if you move the playhead during the preview, the timeline adjusts the area to bring the playhead back to its position. Adaptive Smooth Scrolling mode is similar to the Fixed Smooth Scrolling mode, but if you move the playhead position back during preview, the playback will stop and the playhead will move to the position where you originally set it. And finally, many of you had requested the ability to save modified program settings under the General Settings menu in the top right corner, and we're happy to announce it's now possible. Now, after installing the new version of VSDC, all your settings will be saved, so you don't have to recreate shortcuts, folders for saving projects or media files, hardware settings, and the rest of them. But please note that this option only becomes available in version 7.1. For example, if you want to save your custom settings from version 6.9 or earlier, you'll need to use the import and export options. That's all. Let us know what you think in the comments to this video and leave your suggestions for the next update.